Hey everybody, this is going to be a playthrough of the 21st mission in the Cyclone 3 campaign for the SE25T. This is a free user-made campaign put out by somebody in the community, so I'll put a download link for that in the video description. Looking at the mission briefing, we got the title, Naval Engagement. Essentially, we'll be flying out over the ocean and destroying a guided missile cruiser that we find out there. Uh, it's an early afternoon mission, so light is plentiful, although there is kind of a low haze or a low cloud cover and haze. Uh, so visibility is not great, but it's not necessary uh, to have great visibility for this mission. Looking at the loadout, we got a bunch of anti-radiation missiles, the ELIN pod and the CM pods. We've also got a couple laser guided missiles, but hopefully we won't need those. Looking at the Allied flights, we got an A-50 AWACS essentially, some SU-24s, K-27, bunch of SE-27s and SE-34s, a bunch of MiG-29s, and some TU-22s. Looking at the threats, we've got the uh, the cruiser itself, the Ticonderoga. We've got some F-18s that are going to chase us down after we destroy that ship, as well as an E-3 AWACS. Looking at the mission planner, basically we're going to fly out of Sukumi, fly south over the water towards Waypoint 2, find this cruiser out in the water and destroy it. Uh, probably the mission design uh, there was probably some intention that all your allied AI flights would be helpful here, but in my experience, they all get shot down pretty handily by the cruiser. Uh, it's very capable of shooting down any incoming missiles or uh, aircraft. So more than likely, you're going to have to do this all on your own, despite all the AI. Uh, they might provide some distraction for the cruiser, but they're unlikely to do much damage to it. So essentially, we're just going to do a sea scamming attack. Uh, we're going to stay at very low altitude, like less than 10 meters altitude over the water. Uh, that's going to keep us below the minimum engagement altitude for the cruiser. So he'll be able to see you, but not be able to shoot at you as long as you're dipping below 9 or 10 meters. Um, so essentially, we're just going to get real close by staying very low and then pop up just a little bit so that our missiles don't hit the water as we fire, fire off all our anti-radiation missiles and hope that enough of them hit to destroy the cruiser. And as soon as we've done that, we'll just turn around and gun it back home as quickly as we can. Um, so to do that, uh, you'll probably have some success using the, uh, straight and level autopilot once you get down to real low altitude, but be aware that it's going to oscillate a little bit up and down as it stabilizes. So after you engage that, just, you might need to use a little bit of back stick to make sure it doesn't drive you into the water, uh, until it stabilizes. Um, if you are getting close to the cruiser and it hasn't started hitting you with, uh, with radar yet, so you're not seeing anything on your RWR and the ELIN pod isn't showing anything, you might have to pop up just a little bit. Uh, to get a little bit more altitude to let him see you, and then once he sees you, you can you can lock him up and drop back down. Um, you're gonna want to get well within the the maximum range of the uh, KH-25 MPU missiles. You're not gonna want to launch at max range because if you do that, all your missiles are gonna get shot down. So you're gonna have to get kind of uncomfortably close uh, to start shooting. Uh, shoot off your KH-25 MPUs first since they're slower and shorter range, and then after you've shot all those, wait a little bit. Just use your judgment there and shoot off the cage 20, uh, 58 missiles as well because they're faster. Uh, hopefully, they'll all get to the cruiser about the same time, roughly. Um, but like I said, you'll need to be pretty close, uh, almost just out of range of a SeaWiz gun before you start shooting because probably at least a couple of your missiles will get shot down. You want to make sure that not all of them do or, or enough get through that the cruiser is destroyed. So it's pretty straightforward, but not easy. Um, come in low, get close, shoot all your missiles, turn around and go home. Uh, once you've destroyed that cruiser, you will have those F-18s chasing you down. There's a lot of distractions in the area with all the AI flights, if uh, if any of your friendlies have survived. Um, so you're probably not at too much risk from the F-18s, but you still want to not hang out. Just turn around and get back to Sukumi as quickly as possible. So once you've destroyed that ship, you'll get the text telling you to RTB. Then you can fly back to Sukumi. Once you land there, you'll get the text for success. And at that point, you can end the mission. All right, start the mission. Close the canopy, get the electrical on, engines on, flaps down, nav mode. Tell ATC we're starting up. All right, engines are ready, so we request taxi to see which runway we're taking. Уклад, 
Alright, runway 30. That's left to right from this perspective, so we'll taxi off to the left. We got the runway here, so we'll straighten out and take off as soon as possible. No need to wait for the wingman. I will turn towards waypoint one. No need to climb since we'll be doing a sea skimming attack anyway.
All right, we're course correcting to waypoint two. And I'll start working my way down to single digit altitude, then we'll try to get the straight level autopilot on without having to drive us into the water. Alright, single digits. Might have to do a little back stick here and there to keep it out of the water. At least until it stabilizes. Alright, that looks pretty stable, so I'll go hands off. I'll go ahead and turn the uh, ECM pod on. I'll have the wingman do the same. All right, I'll go to air to ground mode. I'll use the ball to see if I can find that ship out on the horizon somewhere. Yep, there it is. So we're pretty well lined up on it. We'll turn the ELIN pot on, get ready for uh get ready for it to start locking us up. Yeah, we can even see it out there. I'm gonna pop up just a little bit, see if we can get it to start hitting us with radar so that we can lock it.
We're going to need to get uncomfortably close to this ship before we start shooting because it's very capable of shooting down our missiles. So we have to get real close to limit the amount of time it has to do that. All right, we get our get our lock, get back down to real low altitude. Probably just have to hand fly it from here on in. We'll shoot the 25 MPU missiles first because uh, they're shorter range and uh, slower. And then we'll, after those are out, we'll shoot the 58s. And I'll see if I can put it straight level autopilot here again in a second. May not be worth it at this point. Looks like he can shoot at about nine meters altitude, so we gotta keep dropping below that. I'll direct the wingman to attack the primary. All right, we're in range, but that's not good enough. We got to get much closer. See all the missiles he's shooting at the other wingman. Alright, this ought to be good enough, so we'll pop up a little bit and start shooting. Give those a little bit of time, then we'll shoot the 58s. And turn away, because there's nothing, nothing else we can do. Not going to try to turn all the way around, because I don't want to have to climb too high, so we're just getting out of range of his, uh, his gun. done some damage and he's destroyed so long boring flight back home to base i'll have timestamps in the video description to skip this part if you like Второй. Обучение. Одиннадцать часов. Второй. Обучение. Одиннадцать часов. 
Alright, we're locked by something, so we're gonna get a little lower. Looks like we got some fighter radars. Go ahead and jettison the 25s because I want as little drag as possible. We're just going to go full throttle and accept the shaky screen to get away from these fighters. Check the bogey dope, see how far they are. They're 40 kilometers away, so probably not shooting at me yet, but they're getting a little close. I know there's, I think, an SA-11 site along the shore uh, as we get closer to the, uh, Sukumi, so We'll try to get in range of that. Get them to shoot at the enemy fighters. Uh, we're not locked anymore, that's a good sign. Maybe the uh, friendly fighters have engaged them now. Oh, locked again. Thank you. 
down. Gear 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 down. Now we got the mission success text. That'll do it.